Hi everyone! This is a video tutorial where we'll be examining the transition of a secondary alcohol into an alkyl halide via the substitution reaction mechanism. So what we have is a secondary alcohol and HX, where HX will represent either HI, HBr, or HCl. In this reaction, once these two go under an SN1 mechanism, we will form the alkyl halide and water. The big difference here between the secondary alcohol and the tertiary alcohol is that for the secondary case, in order for the rate of the reaction to be fast enough, we need to include heat in the reaction. So a delta symbol over the reaction arrow means that this will also incorporate heat to make the reaction happen in a fast enough pace. So let's take a look at a mechanism for this and see how it works. Okay, so let's take a look at an example of a secondary alcohol substitution reaction. So over here, we've got our alcohol. It's secondary because that OH group is attached to a carbon that's attached to two other carbons. As always with an alcohol, the first step is activation. Remember, activation means that you're doing something to that OH group to make it more willing to leave in order to get it substituted out. So in this case here, we're going to activate it by protonating it with this hydrochloric acid. So your O will attack the hydrogen, breaking this bond, causing the chloride to take the electrons with it. The result of that is here we have our protonated alcohol group. Because this follows the SN1 mechanism, that OH group here will now leave, taking its electrons with it, forming a carbocation. So now the trick here with these secondary alcohols is you always have to keep in mind that because you're following an SN1 mechanism and you form a carbocation, a potential shift is always there. Remember, you will shift with your carbocation if it results in a more stable one. So a tertiary carbocation is more stable than a secondary, which is more stable than a primary. So over here we have a secondary carbocation. If we shifted there, that would cause us to have a primary, which isn't more stable, so we wouldn't see that shift happen. This carbon here, however, is tertiary. So if I do a 1-2 hydride shift, meaning the hydrogen that's on this carbon shifts to this carbon over here, I form a tertiary carbocation. Okay, so watch for shifts when you're dealing with secondary alcohols. Now the hybridization of that carbon is sp2. So that means the chloride can either do top or bottom attack. Both are options. So that means we would have two products that could come out. In this case, we either had the chloride do bottom attack. In this case, the chloride did top attack. Because one of the asymmetric centers remained the same and the other one changed, our two products would be diastereomers of one another. So this is only a concern if the question then asks you about the stereochemistry of your product. And that's how you'd handle an SN1 mechanism for an alcohol.